Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a 3D curve graph in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after I create your composition, I have here in my comp Stardust or the applied and a sprite comp. So I just have some sprite here, uh, different icons that we're going to use. So back to our Stardust here. And the first thing we want to create a grid for these graphs. So change the type to grid and let's zero out the speed and make comp size here for x and y so we have something like that to see we're going to zero out it and on grid properties here let's put one on z and crank up the grid x and y so just something like that let's first go to this particle give it life 10 seconds and change the size to just one pixel and so now we can crank up to make a line right there you can put their numbers so something like that we can change that later okay so now let's name this y grid so just to organize things in these particles b grid and control d to duplicate this y grid and connect it with the particles and let's rename these to x grid and we're going to just rotate this to 90 degrees so we have line there and we are going to change the color to something nice so maybe this color and if we create a camera we have that nice 3d grid here okay so let's turn off this camera and create a group here so just organize things and add them right here and we're going to shy these so just we have more space to work with I mean this one too so okay this is our background rain graph and now we're going to add a mirror and particle connect them together and in this mirror we're going to change the type to ring and zero out the speed so we have a nice ring here and we can change the size of it and if we go here rank particles this is how many particle we have on that ring okay so that what we have so maybe we're just going to go for 10 and we're going to emit in once and put this particle per second just one and so now we're going to add let's first rename this so this we're going to call it e curve and this is b curve and now we are going to go to this E curve and rotate this 90 degrees so it is flat here and we're going to add a replica node and connect it with the P curve so let's call this replica so call it air curve and so here if we put the replicates to maybe 15 and on the Y going to have that replicates okay things look nice for now and so instead of offset we're going to use linear but nothing changed that's okay and so 
right here if we go to along path and then we have this emir size over path so if we change this you would see what's happening here if we put that right there and maybe make curve like that so we are panning the sides of these ring and this one we see here is just origin so we can put the opacity to zero and the more we add the more we offset on the y the more it is going to be longer so first let's add transform here and transform these whole particles so we're going to rotate that on c 90 degrees so we have it back there and let's put it maybe just right there okay and back here to this air curve and if we change the density then we are having something like that so maybe the particles are big so we're going to just put two over there or just three in back here it's crank up the replicates so just going to put it right there and crank up these okay so we have something like that and we are going to refine these curves so maybe we're going to choose this one and apply it and then we're going to make it really small so we don't want that much of changes just something like this and let's change the color to random from gradient and choose a nice one so make this one and hit apply and then back to this emir curve and changing the direction to outward or maybe b directional so it doesn't matter just so we have that variation here of the colors let's center this so maybe put it just right there and now we're going to add a turbulence so what's the turbulence is going to do here if we offset the positions you would see what's happened it's actually affect the background as well so we're going to connect that to this e curve and that's what happened so it turbulence affects on infinity we're going to change that to sphere and let's turn on the helpers and back to turbulence and make the sphere bigger so that size and you see that it's going to only actually we need to put this to 10 we forgot and nothing animated because we have fractal speed at zero so let's put 10 there and so it's going to start animating right there and so the kind of animation it's not what we want to so turbulence type we're going to change it to axis and affect axis y so we're going to have that up and down and we can change the noise scale to make it something like that let's turn off these helpers and turn on our camera back so just see how this looks right here and as you see we don't have really much depth here there are several ways to fix that if that what we want to we have these uh, size x and you will see what's happened if we go back here it's also affecting it on our y and actually here we can play with these angles so just put 90 degree on angle z and as you see the curve get on x and z axis which we want and if we activate the camera you see that we can 
have that 3D dimension here view if we want to, but let's focus on 2D view for now. And so let's back to turbulence and change that some position offset there. And let's preview and see how this looks like first. So as you see, our curves looks pretty cool here. And so we have a lot of things to add and fine tuning. So instead of just making these going randomly here, we want to give it a flow animation to this fractal. So we're not going to use fractal speed. We're going to put that back to zero. And instead, we're going to animate it fractal offset X. So add a keyframe there and then add another keyframe at the end and put 50. Let's see those keyframes. Can easy ease them and then offset them so we can have a pre-roll of the animation. And so let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, we have something like this. We can actually uh, make the animation even nicer than this, but we're not going to focus on that. So you can add noise frequency if you want, and then also noise levels and so on. So right now, the main curve of the graph is created, which is the key for the other elements to be created easily. So we're going to duplicate this curve, uh, these three notes, so Control D, and let's position them right here. And so for this one, let's rename this to E Texture. And this one, P Texture. And this one to R Texture. So just to organize things. And we're going to connect it to this transform and also to this turbulence. So like we have the same duplicates here, but we're going to do a few changes here. So in this P texture, we're going to change the shape to texture and from texture layer, we're going to choose Sprite and you can't see anything because the size is pretty small. Let's the size to 40 and it's pretty dense because our replicate is dense so that what well, we got the sprites are going to be animating with those curves but we just want a few so on ring particles we're going to put one right there we just want to one line and let's make them even bigger. This the full and so I can see things nice. Maybe even bigger. And then we can add some maybe color over life. So on texture, actually in texture to see the color changes we need here. We need to change texture color to alpha. So we have that different colors going on. And so let's change the blending mode or transform mode to add and this one so this one to add as well or maybe this one going to be just screen so maybe we can back to put these in front we can change 
the angle, so maybe something like that. And let's preview this. So as you see in this preview, things look pretty cool, but maybe it's a little bit fast and we can fix it just by going to turbulence and do some changes. So maybe we can just put 10 to that frequency so it's not really fast. And then we are going to do the same thing here, duplicate these. Control D. We have a new notes here doing the same things. We're going to connect these to transform and to turbulence. And so we are going to, instead of using texture, we are going to use circle. So we have those circles there. And we are going to just put their sex, maybe or 10 and change size random and back to right here we need few of them so maybe six and back here and maybe the size is big so maybe five oh well, let's put four we can random the passive as well. We can add more just by changing the ring particles. Maybe this one is going to be 10. And we're going to change the angles just to give the variations. So let's preview this. So as you see in this preview, it's look pretty cool. We can do a lot of changes. So maybe this texture, we're just going to give it a nice solid color here. So we're going to choose a green maybe. So it's okay. And now we can just tweak things on the turbulence. So maybe we can just make this noise scale bigger. And we can also change the fractal evolution so we have some variations just so we can make some nice changes there. Also, we can pay attention to the sphere size. So if we don't want these to be affected, we just need to lower that the size of the sphere. And here, we don't want these dots to be right there. So here, let's name these two, two E dots. So we know what we are doing. So dots in this one, two. And actually now we can just do the adjustment that we want to. So like changing the position, size or colors of the particles, as well as uh, changing the noise level or noise scale and also fractal speed. So it's just depend on how we want things to look like. So just changing some values and then there you go. And now we can go to the sprite comp and change the sprites. And so it's going to update automatically there. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope it was very useful for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.